ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு எஸ்எஸ்ஐஎஸ் டியூட்டோரியல் டாட் பிளாக் ஸ்பாட் டாட் இன் திஸ் இஸ் மை ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வீடியோ டுட்டோரியல் ஆன் எஸ்எஸ்ஐஎஸ் ஐ கிரியேட்டட் திஸ் வீடியோ டு ஹெல்ப் த பிகினர்ஸ் ஹூ வாண்ட் டு லேர்ன் எஸ்எஸ்ஐஎஸ் பை கிவிங் ஏ ப்ரீஃப் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு வாட் இஸ் எஸ்எஸ்ஐஎஸ் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் இட் வை வி நீட் எஸ்எஸ்ஐஎஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் த கண்டென்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் டுடே ஆர் history of the ssis ssis definition latest features in ssis building blocks of ssis and finally the advantages of using ssis first we'll start with the history of the ssis as you know almost all the organization be it a small medium or large organization they have to maintain their data in different databases like spreadsheets flat files rdbms systems etc sometimes we need to access data from these different data sources and need to modify the data according to the business needs let's say sometimes we have to load data from an excel file into a sql server like this we need to access the data from multiple data sources and need to perform broad range of data migration tasks and transforming them according to the business needs this is in very much demand now so to cater this needs microsoft have launched dts data transformation services in 2000 This DTS has been launched by Microsoft to transform data from one data source to different destination. But this is not suffice to serve provide services to the current market need. So after 5 years Microsoft launched another version of DTS with a more powerful features that is known as SSIS. SSIS is part of the Business Intelligence Studio which was created by Microsoft in 2005. It business intelligence studio provide services for SSIS RS and SSAS Coming to the definition of SSIS SSIS can be called as a ETL tool that is extract transformation load tool it can also be known as a control flow engine application platform or high performance data transformation pipeline it can also be known as a data import and export wizard all of this definite definitions are correct because ssis is powerful to do all these operations coming to the latest features which are added in ssis for each loop containers are added package configurations better activex controllers script tasks precedence constraints event handlers pivot and pivot operations all these are newly added features in ssis we'll learn about them in detail in coming videos coming to the building blocks of ssis what do we need to build an ssis we need control flow task data flow event handlers package explorer precedence constraints connection managers toolbox and finally variables we need all of them to build an ssis i'll show you this building blocks with an example first go to start all programs sql server under that sql server business intelligence development studio this is how sql server business intelligence development studio will look like this bi is created to handle sas tasks first we'll create an ssis here go to file new project under that select business intelligence then integration services integration services is nothing but ssis here in this example i'll uh, create a control flow to generate the extract from a sql server table then load it into a flat file if this file is generated then we'll ftp this file else we'll send a mail to the respective team saying that file is not generated this is what we want to do in this example first i have created a data flow then under that we have a flat uh, ftp task then we have a send mail task so this is what you are seeing on the screen now as a precedence constraint so this constraint will tell you to which direction process should go if whether it should go towards the ftp side or to the mail side this is known as a precedence constraint 
Then let's see the data flow. Earlier what we have seen is control flow and precedence constraints. Now we'll see the data flow. In this data flow, data is flowing from SQL Server into flat file. Now the event handlers. Whenever some event occurs, uh, some error occurs, we can do handle that error in event handlers. So we have seen event handlers, control flow, precedence constraint, constraint so far. Now the package explorer. Package explorer have the complete information about all this. Let's go to the connection managers. Connection managers will have the information about what are the connections that we have in this package. Like I have SQL connection and flat file connection. Let's move to the toolbox. In this toolbox, we have control flow tasks, maintenance tasks, and data source destinations, transformations, and data sources. All this we will have in this toolbox. Then finally, the variables. Variables we need sometimes in SSIS. So this is how the SSIS will look like and this is all about the control flow tasks, data flow, event handlers, package exp So this is all about the building blocks of the SSIS. Then moving on to the next topic. What are the advantages of SSIS? As you have already seen, it has a very friendly graphical user interface and we can perform different types of hot tasks in a single package. SSIS package can also be scheduled to run at any time. We can connect to different data sources using this SSIS. Deploying this SSIS package is very easy. That's all about introduction to SSIS. Hope this video will give you some heads up to start with SSIS. If you have any doubts or clarifications in SSIS or SQL Server, please leave your comments below this video. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. For more information on SQL Server and SSIS, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching these videos. Thank you.